So this is George's house. I've never been to his house before. Yeah, it's pretty nice, but his parents are old school, so the stuff's really outdated. I bet he even has an outhouse in the back. What a loser. Does he even get signal here? I'm sure he does. I mean, how could he VC with us if he didn't have internet? Even Joe has it. Has what? Internet dumbass, the thing that lets you play Fortnite and watch YouTube. It wasn't always called that, you know. Back in the day when we'd want to go fishing, we'd bring out the net to carry our larger fish back home to eat. We'd call it the carpa net. He's finally lost it. I started to filter out like half of what he says. Well, gosh. Hey, fellas. Welcome to my house. We're going to have so much fun. Yeah, yeah, Lamewad. Listen, what's the name of your Wi-Fi? I'm not picking up anything here. Oh, uh, I'm not allowed to use the internet for a month after my bad behavior last week. What? Well, after the whole thing with the drones, the neighborhood almost burnt down. And since I was there, the court found me liable on three accounts of first-degree arson. Seriously? That's hilarious, George. You totally deserved it, too. That's terrible, George. I can't help but feel at least partly responsible. It's fine, Barack. I'm sure you would have done the same for me. So what are we doing, George? What shenanigans will we be getting up to today? Well, I thought it might be fun to go into the woods, maybe play some tag, maybe some hide-and-seek. Are you serious, George? That's what you invited us over here for? I could be at home getting dubs and stumble guys right now. In fact, I think I'll just call an Uber... Laura's getting McDonald's for lunch. Well, what are we waiting for? Time to go into the woods. Well, wouldn't you look at that? What is it, Joe? See that right over there? That right there is the marking of an animal, a wild one. Let me see. What even are you on, Joe? It's just a stupid stick. Hell, it could have been you that stepped on it. Oh, no, Donald. I know the signs of life when I see them. In fact, back in the day, they used to call me Six Finger Joe on account of my ability to track and trap all creatures that walk this earth. My primary suspect here, the dodo. Again, we went over this last time, Joe. The dodo went extinct. I don't know how many times I've had to tell you that. Look, look, up there, it's the sweater my grandma knit me. She gave it to me on my birthday. I can't lose it. Stop crying about it, George. If it really meant that much to you, then just buy a new one. That's right, George. Material items can be replaced. People, however, cannot. I had to learn that the hard way during Nam. You never served in the military either, Joe. You're thinking of that time you got stuck in VR Roblox. <laughs> Though I will admit those kids were really, really toxic. I still can't believe that happened. Hey, where's George? George? Uh-oh, looks like George has been taken. Taken? Taken, Donald. He's gone. We'd better get out of here before we're next. Whoa, whoa. Slow down, Joe. He's right up on that tree. See? He's getting the sweater. I've almost got it. I'm almost there. Wait a minute now. This whole thing isn't making any sense. Why would we actually go out into a forest to play hide-and-seek? How would George's sweater just be out here in the middle of nowhere? Oh my god, it's a moose. Jumping Jiminy's. Wait for me, George. I'm right behind you. How is there a moose out here in the middle of the day so close to the neighborhood? Oh, I know exactly what this is. I think I may know why it's here. It all started when I was coming home from baseball practice. Mom had left some muffins on the windowsill to cool down, and I was sitting in the kitchen when all of a sudden I heard a sound and turned around to see a big moose. Aw, oh, you look hungry, little fella. Here, have a muffin. Well, the next thing I knew, the moose came inside and we had all sorts of fun together, going about the house and getting into trouble. If you give a moose a muffin, if you give a moose a muffin, that's what this is. If you give a what a what? You're telling me you gave good food to a wild animal? Huh, you have a point, Joe. George, this is almost exactly like what happened in that book. Even the sweater you're holding now is red. I never thought of it that way, but... I guess you're right, Joe. I suppose the lesson learned is to not give muffins to moose because then they steal your clothes. Uh-huh. Well, it's great that you guys figured out what's wrong with George, but can you Einstein solve the problem of the moose trying to get us? Give it the sweater, George. Yeah, give it the sweater. Hold on, George. You shouldn't have to give up your sweater. He is the one who got us into this predicament. But... No, no, it's fine, Barack. I'll give it my sweater. Well, now that that's dealt with, let's get the hell out of here. Isn't it almost lunch? Go, go, go! Hey, hey, is that Clash of Clans? How are you able to get online? George said there was no internet. Well, actually, we're not supposed to use it, but Barack knows the password from the last time he was here, so... 
So you're telling me that you kidnapped me, held me against my will, forced me to march through the forest, climb some stupid tree, and then give me my last meal. When I could have been playing Fortnite all this time. It's all right, Donald. At least you've got to touch some grass. No, I've had it with you guys. That's absolute bullshit. You freaking suck, George. I hope you